Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I am so excited to share this Dollar Tree haul with you. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know when I'm posting it. It'll probably be kind of pre-recorded because I'm in Easter basket season, but I wanted to haul this fun haul for you, but I wanna post it once I'm done with like all the Easter baskets. So what this haul is, is it is donations that are going to the, our local Ronald McDonald House. If you don't know what the Ronald McDonald House is, you should definitely look it up. They're a wonderful organization. Uh, basically what they are is a house that is near most children's hospitals that will house families when their children are sick or staying an extended amount of time at the children's hospital. So we have two local Ronald McDonald's house Ronald McDonald houses near us. And so myself and my youth group that Lorelai, my daughter and I are a part of. Um, so there's, let's see, it was six of us. We have three girls and then three adults that are a part of this, our, our club. Um, we all went shopping at the Dollar Tree and we utilized the list that is on their website to purchase. We try to hit every category on the list to be able to donate to the Ronald McDonald House. We were fortunate enough to have $105 to spend. That was by us each pitching in. Our, our amount was $5 each. Plus, we had some donations from some of the adults that are part of the same organization we are. Um, side note, the organization I'm a part of is called the Odd Fellows, um, and we are the branch that's like the girls' branch. They're called Theta Rho. I don't know if it's kind of similar to, let's see, Elks, or it's a fraternal organization, um, Elks, and what's the other one? There's another one that's very similar, but it's a fraternal organization. I was a part of Theta Rho, the girls' youth group, as a child myself, as, as a little girl, and now my daughter is, so I get to see it through her eyes. So that's a long-winded introduction to let you guys know that that is what this haul is. It might be split into two because we have four bags of stuff, and it was $103 that we got to shop. We had $105, and our total was like $103 and some change. So we had a great time out shopping and doing all the things. Um, I will also put a list. I'll put it up like on the screen right now so if you wanted to see it but they do print give us a wish list so that made it a lot easier to shop it had a bunch of different categories like janitor closet items kitchen items pantry staples laundry room items um holiday items office items and individually wrapped snacks and then somewhere in the holiday items it said new toys or games so that was where our girls had the most fun so with that really long-winded introduction as to why we did this um, oh, and the reason why too is so our our club, basically what the goal of our club is to do as much community service as we can. Um, if you are not new to my channel, you know that I am constantly donating. I'm constantly trying to do things to give back. Um, and I think that that's where I learned it as one of my core values was when I was a youth and a part of Theta Rho, it was really like pushed a lot that we do community service. And I think that it just stuck with me. So here I am. Um, doing as much as I can. So um, we are now going to get started in the haul. I will probably be honest, a lot of this is kind of boring, like regular everyday stuff that you get at Dollar Tree. So if you're into that, like always got, not wanting to know the makeup, not wanting to know the holiday stuff, this is kind of like that everyday day-to-day -day stuff that you could pick up at Dollar Tree. So that's also different than what I always haul for you guys. So first of all, I have a bottle of bleach that was on the list as cleaning or laundry or something. Um, they used to have the bigger bottles of bleach at Dollar Tree. I've always picked up my bleach there, but um, they only had the small bottles. So that is what we grabbed. Oh, and I'll show you the four bags too, because we bought those to be able to take everything in. And I own this bag myself. I like it a lot. It says everyday fresh start. Every day is a fresh start. So love that too. And once I get to another one, I'll let you know. Now this is one that I don't haul a lot on my channel. We get our toilet paper from Costco. So we get like the big bulk amount of it. We have five of us here. It's a lot of butts to wipe. So um, it's just kind of more cost effective there. But I did pick up their strong and soft. You get the four rolls, septic safe, two ply bath tissue. I don't think it's terrible by any means. We just, we just always pick ours up at Costco. So for some of the, the kitchen stuff, um, one of us shopping, it was not me, had the idea to maybe pick them up some new 
utensils for the kitchen because you know you have a handful of people so that way the house operates if you don't know it's like they have a shared kitchen i think shared bathrooms but different like living like different rooms for the families to stay in and so for the shared kitchen if they need to upgrade their their spoons we got a ladle we got a um this one's called a solid spoon and a slotted slotted spoon and these are by the mccormick brand and so like just a nice new set for the kitchen and then some salad tongs just in case you know that comes up that they need some tongs to do something with and then um they didn't have the mccormick one of these but it's the pasta server so we got the gray one because they didn't have the matching one so we got all those we did pick up some sponges for cleaning and then I wish this was more in an order. It's not because the way it was bagged when we were there. Um, we're going to come across more of these at some point in the halls, but some, these ones are the everyday spoons, the 48 count. They didn't have the Dixie ones anymore. They haven't for a while at my stores, but this is the most bang for your buck to get some plastic wear, which it says serving utensils. That would be, I think what I just showed you, but you know, it doesn't hurt to have some plastic wear just in case like someone's on their way to go to the hospital but like has a yogurt to eat or something they can grab a spoon and then for the bathroom it's leaking it was not leaking when we first put it in there i'll have to wipe it all up and i'm gonna package it all nice this one had a little leak because it was on its side but we did pick up some hand soap um and that one was i don't know if it's on here I feel like it was liquid hand soap yes janitor closet items so our idea was to get the little pump bottle one and then the big refillable one so that you'll get more for your money with the refillable one but then you kind of get two for and we went with antibacterial just because of the the location the um you're you know have kids who are sick and you don't want to take any germs and you want to stay as clean as possible so that's why we picked those I believe we will run into some more toothbrushes, I think, but we um, did pick out some toothbrushes because that's on there as well. And we liked these little kits. So this one's the Firefly and it's the Star Wars with Yoda, it says on the thing. Um, and so it has the cover, the toothpaste, so it's just the all-in-one. And some even flossers. The ones that I bought in the past didn't have flossers, that's awesome so picked that up to be able to to donate as well and then we will go to the next bag i mean this one got soap in the bottom of it so i'm gonna wipe it all out and i'm gonna like organize everything by bathroom kitchen cleaners that kind of stuff to make it as but just best as possible when they get it um we did pick up some take-alongs some storage containers for the kitchen <coughs> It says food containers for leftovers is on their list so we thought that this would be a good one we didn't see when we were there but keep an eye out if you're ever shopping for these because sometimes they have the bonus ones where you can get either three or four as well not just two so they didn't so we ended up with just the two and then aluminum foil was on the list so we picked this one up it's the aluminum foil sheets you get 30 of them um I didn't grab these, but I'm assuming that means they didn't have the Reynolds wrap. So that is the one that got grabbed. Plus some trash bags, it's on the list. This one you get two free bags, nine bags of the flap tie large trash bags. So just to have a few on hand there. Some more of the storage containers. See this one is the bonus one. You get four instead of three from the McCormick brand and they're just like the smaller ones so that's just I think a nice option to pick up I like to get my containers like that when I'm hosting um things at my house so like I'm doing an Easter brunch and if I know that I'm going to do that and I know we're going to serve a lot of food and I always have extra like we always like over buy our food I try to get some of those beforehand so then that way like my grandparents come and I can send them with some food and I don't have to worry about getting the containers back it's not like I'm not spending a lot but I get to send them with good containers and leftovers so those are good for stuff like that um let's see we got some food items in here now as well we have the Golden Chef 
vegetable oil. You just get 16 at fluid ounces, but I'm going to be honest. I always buy mine at the grocery store and I never use it. This is what I should pick up because you only need so much. And the ingredient is soybean oil, which apparently is vegetable oil. Um, and it's made by Stratus Foods LLC in Memphis, Tennessee. Doesn't say made in Memphis, Tennessee, but that's just what it says on there is Memphis, Tennessee. So some vegetable oil. And then this is all in their pantry items. They had pantry staples, so flour, sugar, um, vanilla, um, vegetable oils, cooking oils, baking powders. This is cool. I didn't realize that they had baking powder at Dollar Tree, but the next time I need some, it's probably where I'll pick it up. Um, so this is a product of China. It's distributed by Trans Transnational Foods, LLC. And it says it's best before no, no, October of 2025. So a nice big can of baking powder. That's really cool. They have the smaller bags of flour. It's the two pound bag. Is it five pounds a lot of times when you get the bigger ones? This is good until May of 2025. It's by Nancy Jane. Um, and it says it's by Redwood, Ren, Renwood Mills, North Carolina. And that's about what it tells you of where it's from. So got some flour. Um, since it was like pantry items, things that'll last, we figured why not get some oats. These are good until 9 of 2025. They're the cold grain quick oats with the resellable package. So picked that up as a pantry item as well. That has no preservatives. We have some, I don't think I've opened it yet because I had an open one already before I picked this up. But it's no preservatives. It's a product of the USA by Sunco and Frenchie LLC is who that one is by. We got the big old box of baking soda. Um, I always get my baking soda at Dollar Tree. I don't know if it's the most cost effective. If it is or isn't, can you let me know? I haven't priced it. I think about it sometimes when I'm elsewhere, but then I think about it when I'm not elsewhere and then when I am elsewhere, I don't think about it. It's good until 2026. You can hear some clumps in there, but um, it's baking soda. We did pick up two kinds of cooking spray. Um, they're both by Healthy Chef, and this one is the canola cooking spray, and it's good until 2025. And this one's the butter cooking spray, also good until 2025. These are distributed by Rejoice International Corp, Corporation, I'm sure, made in China. Same thing here. So just a couple of cooking sprays for the pantry. We did grab a light brown sugar. It already feels hard. That's not good. It's in a bag too in there. Um, and the expiration date on this is January 2025. So brown sugar is such a hard one. Um, because I feel like it always wants to clump up and be hard. So we grabbed that. Then um, they do just have some like spices. It says spices on the list. Spices and assorted spices and seasonings. And so this is stuff that I don't always buy myself at Dollar Tree. So it's fun to kind of look and see. So they have the garlic salt. Good until 2025. Nice big container of it. You get 6.52 ounces. They have the cayenne pepper as well 2.25 ounces which is funny because they're the exact same shape and size bottle this one is definitely a lot heavier though when you get six ounces where you only get two of this um the ingredients just cayenne pepper and it is distributed by um green briar and good until 2025 and then we have the garlic powder, not the garlic salt. This one you get 2.5 ounces as well. Good until 2025. Also by Greenbrier. Um, the Morton Seasonal Seasoned Salt. What a good deal. And it's good until 2026. I know that they have like the Lowry's. That's the one that I'm. my brain always goes to for seasoned salt. But this is probably a more realistic size that I would use. I don't use a lot of salt. And then just a basic salt and pepper. This I definitely have picked up. These are good if you have like a 
on the go like camping like kit or we like to take our mini grill and go to like the park sometimes or we have the boats so when we take like food to go cook on there these are just nice to have on hand because they're so so basic and then lastly in this bag is some storage bags these ones are the sandwich like zipper bags you get 58 in both of them instead of 45 and grab two because that's one of those all the time used type items and then this bag that everything was in love this one too it says it's the journey not the destination with the sunflowers how cute is that all right next bag i think we probably will be able to fit it all in one haul sorry it was way over there like i said i thought i was going to do two hauls has this bag it's a good day to be happy in purple and we have lots of fun stuff in here. So we did pick up several different kinds of cleaners. I'm trying to figure out the best place to put it all. Bring this chair over. Okay. So we picked up several of these totally awesome ones. This one is a daily shower cleaner. And these I know you guys have seen. They're like the dupes to... Oh, what's the name of the one from Target? It's the dupes to the Target ones. But these are the LA's totally awesome. This one's an all-purpose cleaner and degreaser in lavender burst this is in fresh scent they're both 32 ounces and then we have the kitchen cleaner which is in fresh scent as well for appliances countertops and sinks so we have that i like the bottles they just have such a clean nice look to them you know and then lastly for these spray cleaners is the all-purpose cleaner and degreaser and spot remover in cherry blossom so lots of different options that can go in their cleaning janitor closet to pull from as needed on the list was a disinfectant spray too so we grabbed this one in the linen scent it says kills 99.9% .9 of germs um, it doesn't say compared to sometimes they do but yep so got that disinfectant spray i'm sure it's like a lysol and then we did pick up one of the cleaning pastes all-purpose cleaning pastes you'll see this in one of my hauls at some point too depending on when this gets posted because i just bought one recently for myself but it's that clean the pink pink stuff dupe and these aren't um sealed so you have to check and i've heard mixed reviews on them i picked one up and i don't know where i put it I checked all my cleaning basket stuff and I don't know if my husband grabbed it or what. I don't know where it's at. Um, and then we have the latex gloves um, and it's a 10 pack. So to in case people need latex gloves for cleaning and stuff, they have that option. For the laundry stuff, we picked up the Suavidel dryer sheets in lavender. Um, we've left this up to one of the little girls and she was really cute because she was trying to find the best smell. And she went with lavender. It smells good. Let's see any other cleaning stuff. And then we have more in that bag, but this is the last bag. It is Be Kind with the B on it. I'm going to grab some of this stuff out of here and then show the rest of the other stuff. Um, here are the forks. I knew we had them. These you get 52 count. I didn't, I don't know if I've ever paid attention. You get 48 spoons, but 52 forks. I wonder if that's always the case. I'm going to pay attention when I'm out shopping because I have never noticed that myself. Um, for fun, because of kind of where they're at, we did pick up some straws. These are the fun, crazy, I don't know what they call them. Do they call them anything? They just call them everyday straws, but they have the extra long, like stretchy part so that they can make little fun shapes and stuff. Um, and we just thought that that would be fun to share with the kiddos. And another batch of the take-alongs, the Rubbermaid take-alongs. These ones are like the more square, more shallow version of them. So we got those as well. All right, the rest is going to be like toys and like pantry type items, I believe. And that's, the toys are what the girls have the most fun shopping for. We let them pick out all the toys. Well, I kid. We, as grown-ups, also saw some that we liked and tossed them in there, too. So in the kind of toiletry-type items, we 
picked up some razors. These ones are the five blades disposable razors. So you get two in here. So no, three razors. Oh, there it is. It's hiding. So you get the three. I've never tried these. Can you let me know? Well, I've never tried these. Can you let me know down below what you think of them? Because I use a, it's not the Venus, the Bic brand one and it's pink and I really like it. And I think it has five plates. Um, maybe I'll pick these up next time to give them a try. So these are the ones for women. The other ones are the ones for men. And we got these because the five blades. Not wanting to get the ones with like one or two blades just in case. I don't know. Try to try to get the nicer item, I guess. Um, and then they on the list do have four office items such as copy paper, post-it notes, stamps, batteries, dry erase markers, general office supplies is what's on the list. And so some of the stuff we did pick up for that is um, a thing of tape we were gonna get some gift bags and we were at a different part of the store and we never made it back to the gift bags but we did get some gift tape these dry erase markers with the erasers on them some highlighters and some paper clips we also got out of that section oh I missed some toiletry items um, a big set of the um, ink pens, and these are the clip, clip clicks. I think these pens are great. I buy ink pens all the time. I actually get the colorful ones, though, because I love colorful pens. And this, you get 10 of them for $1.25. Like, what a great deal. And then this is the mechanical pencils. It uses 0.7 lead. I don't know if I've seen these ones. And they have the soft grips. These are different than the ones I usually pick up. I didn't even notice. Um, but some mechanical pencils. Some of the toiletry items. Ooh, almost dropped that. That I missed are some more toothbrushes. Just a couple packages. These are my all-time favorite ones when we travel. I have the ones that have the top to them. And then these are the four colors that you always get. The purple, peach, blue, and green. So got those. And then a couple more kids options that are always super cute. You've been seeing me haul these. We have the Avenger ones and the Paw Patrol. And we did try to be mindful to get the ones with the, the covers. Just in case that just makes it easier. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it will or won't. But our mindset, our thought process was it'll make it easier. All right. And then the rest of everything else we have are toys. And like I said, this was where the girls had the most fun shopping. So... First of all, they did pick up the doctor kit and the dentist kit, which are both super cute. They're for ages three and up. When I called, because I had some toys to donate, what they basically said is they a lot of times do like a, a um, like treasure box style where they'll put all the toys in like a treasure box. And so the kiddos can pick something out, whoever's staying there. And I assume it's either kids like to take to the kiddos in the hospital or mostly for siblings who are there so um, I got each of those for like make-believe play and then oh and here is another tape and it's the gift wrapping ones the ones that like are hidden when you use them and then a couple more toys are these card games and these were the thought process behind these where if you know they get to get into the grab or the treasure box this is something that'll keep kids busy while they're there without taking up too much room so it's the pile up game this one is the first player to get to 10 numbered burger toppings from lowest to highest wins and so it kind of shows you the different numbers on there like that and then this one is barking chicken and mix up charade game and so super cute as well so you can be a dolphin you squawk like a dolphin and stomp like a tiger so just super cute little card game there and then get back in this one this was a fun one too because of just again kind of where they're at uh, they're not at home, but it's fun to find things that they can play with. And this is that paint with water. Is that what they call it? Paint with water posters. You get two posters and a paintbrush. And these ones are the Bernstein Bears. And so you get the two different ones. And you just wet your brush, get a little cup of water, and um, 
color it in and it'll paint the things. I don't have you on airplane mode and there's a bunch of text coming through. So if you're hearing it, sometimes it comes through a little staticky on my phone. So I apologize if you are hearing that. Then we picked up a big thing of sidewalk chalk. You get 20 of them in here in the case, which is awesome. So grab that. Some younger, kind of like toddler aged type toys. If, if you've been watching my hauls, you've seen some of these. You saw this in one of my Easter baskets, but it's the tool table. So it is a four pack. You get the table thing where you can hammer these in or use the screwdriver for these. And then you get one bolt that I think will go into any of these with like the cute little screwdriver and little hammer, super cute little toy. And then this one is where you can slice your fruit. So you get the apple and the pineapple, the cutting board and the knife, and you get to cut your fruit in half is so darling now these little dolls had the hearts of everybody and now that I'm looking in there I'm sad that we seem to have not gotten one of them and I think it's because everyone was picking out their favorites and these are the ones that got picked up and so it's the forever friends dolls and there is a set of four so who are we missing we're missing oh, the one I can't say her name Iha. Iha, Iha, I-H, I-H-A, right there on the end with the little blue square. So I don't know, no one was trying to buy them as a set, so we just happened to miss. But we have Karina, we have Viera, and then Alanis. How cute are these little dolls? I mean, I've hauled them before, and now they have little outfits for them, and I just think that these are the cutest darn little things. So... And so did everyone else that was out shopping, like ood and odd. We did pick up one fashion doll, which I do have to say, I don't pick these up often. I usually will get the Barbies when I'm doing like my Easter baskets and stuff. I feel like the, what is the word I'm looking for? Quality of these is going up. I feel like they're getting nicer and nicer and just feeling like they have more and more, like more and more quality to them. And it's a poseable doll, unlike most Barbies. So like you can bend the knees, which is cool. So we did pick up one of those. Just a couple more toys and then some things that were missed in there from other stuff. Um, one Hot Wheels. Someone must have really liked this one. It is a fire truck, I think. MX, MBX Fire Dasher. So one Hot Wheels or one Matchbox car. Then one of these, which is one of the cutest little toys, and if you know you've been there, they have all kinds of different little pieces for this. It's the Waggles, and I have not picked this one up, any of them really. This one's the Hippopotamus. He has an ice cream cone, a chef hat, and some french fries. But you can also pick up, like they have a swing, they have a teeter-totter, and a like a, is it merry-go-round? Merry-go-round, yeah. And then there's like a penguin, Let's see, a donkey, a pig, sheep, an owl is everything I can see on there for like little friends. They're super cute. So we ended up with the hippo. And then this fun game, the memory flash, which is kind of like Simon. Love this. It needs batteries. So I'll try to remember to toss some batteries in when I'm organizing and cleaning up. And then another card game, which is the surfs up summer trivia who doesn't love some trivia another easy one and fun to play with and some dice because that's another just fun one I don't know if it goes in with toys or if it would go in like maybe like if they have a junk drawer or something you know because when like even the grown-ups are sitting there I just need to occupy their minds and a nice little game of dice there's so, so many so many dice games you could play that would be nice and then lastly is one last office item that I missed and it is the sticky notes. We didn't find any actual um, post-it notes at the store we were at while we were shopping there but these ones have the sticky thing and you can write more on there so that's not terrible either. So guys that is everything. It didn't take me near as long as I kind of expected with $103 and four bags full. Let me know if any of these items are favorites of yours or if it's something that you want to try. I know that I don't buy all of this stuff all the time at Dollar Tree. They're not a part of my regular hauls. One, I go treasure hunting. I try to find like the unique stuff all the time. Um, but 
let me know kind of what some of your favorites are and stuff like that if you know the Ronald McDonald house and stuff like that just yeah leave me a comment down below I don't know when you're gonna see this haul like I said I'm just gonna pop it in one time like if there's a time that I'm struggling to get a haul done or it'll be in the semi near future um, for context of when this is being recorded like shopped for and recorded um, we are taking it all to the Ronald McDonald house. The plan right now is on St. Patrick's Day. I'm recording it on the Friday before St. Patrick's Day, so March 15th. Uh, but we shopped for it a few weeks ago. But it's all like regular daily stuff. So, all right guys, that's what I have today. Thank you so much for being here, spending your time with me. I appreciate it all so, so much. I cannot wait until I see you next time. Bye guys.